hi besties welcome back to another fall video in this video i'm gonna be decorating cooking and cleaning i was so busy this day and i had a mess in the kitchen i got into canning so you can see that i have my tomato sauce in the back and i actually had another batch in my instapot and i have been loving it you guys i have been enjoying canning so much it's been so much fun for me i am new to canning so maybe next year <laughs> i will show you guys what i've been up to um and show you guys how i've been canning in my instapot it's pretty cool um i like the instapot just because it doesn't make my house all hot so that's why i decided to go that route but you guys i'm gonna be making some picadillo but i had to pick up the kitchen a little bit before i started because it was a huge mess so we're gonna start cleaning a little bit then we'll start cooking you guys i use my small little blender for everything and it just gets so dirty you can see the inside was all full of tomato i really need to purchase a big one and it was just on sale at costco the other day i don't know why i didn't buy it and then i think the sale ended this past sunday so <laughs> now i have to wait till it goes on sale again because i'm not paying full price knowing that it goes on sale at costco i don't like buying expensive things if i know they're going to go on sale <laughs> i don't know if you guys are the same way but i prefer just to wait a little bit longer but that's why my little blender is always dirty you guys because we um smash the beans in here I, I don't smash them by hand anymore i prefer smashing the beans in the blender they come out so much better so i'm just gonna clean it down really quick I'm just going to set it on this side of the counter since I just cleaned over here because I'm going to be using the blender for when I make the sauce. So I'm just going to be cleaning this counter because it's so full of tomato. Um, I have like little drops of tomato all over the place right here. So I'm just going to clean it down because I don't want to start cooking with the dirty kitchen and make an even bigger mess. So I prefer just to take the like maybe 15 minutes it takes to clean the kitchen and then start um, making dinner. So right here I have a pound of ground beef and I just um, seasoned it with salt. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit and let it fry on here. I have my stove in between the low and the medium. I'm gonna leave it cooking here while I make the sauce. For the onion sauce, I have four ounces of water. And I'm gonna add some black pepper. I'm just gonna add one eighth of a teaspoon. Usually I'll just do like a pinch, but I'm just gonna use the teaspoon I for have it. this little onion, but usually if I have a big onion, I'll just cut the onion in half and mix it in the blender. But since it's small, um, I'm going to be using the whole onion, but I really like the onion flavor. I'm also going to add two garlic cloves in here, and I'm just going to mix it in my blender. Once it's all done mixing, it looks very creamy in here, so I'm going to put this in with my meat. I'm now going to be adding my onion sauce in with my meat. I'm also going to add two more ounces of water in here, and I'm going to mix it up, and then I'm going to cover it until... I finished making the other sauce and it should dry up. I'm going to blend up three tomatoes. I'm not going to be adding any onion or garlic because we already mixed that and it's currently cooking with the meat. So I'm just going to blend this up and then I'm going to put it in with the meat. I'm just going to remove the lid. It's dried up. That's what we want. I'm going to add my three tomatoes. add eight ounces of water and some nor in here about a tablespoon i'm gonna leave this uncovered so it can come to a boil meantime i'm gonna be peeling my three potatoes you can add other veggies like carrots, corn, peas, anything you like really. We just really prefer eating it with potato. I'm going to cut up my potato in small squares just so it doesn't take that long to cook. By this point, your sauce should be boiling now. So now we're going to add all of the potato in here, mix it all up. And I am going to put it on low with four more ounces of water. I'm going to cover it up and let it cook. It usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes. 
now i'm gonna be making some tortillas i'll leave you guys a video that i made like a long time ago if you guys are interested in watching it it just goes like step by step on how to make them the only thing i do differently now you guys is i don't let the dough rest anymore i just go straight into <laughs> making the dough going straight into making the tortillas and i don't really notice a difference so if you guys are like in a hurry <laughs> to make them i would suggest just go ahead and skip the resting um the 15 minutes of rest time for it because i don't really notice that they cook any better so to make the tortillas i'm going to be using four cups of all-purpose flour six tablespoons of crisco and 12 ounces of water i start by mixing it with the tablespoon because the water is boiling hot so once i cools down a little bit i'll start mixing it by hand but i'm just gonna be weighing my dough out because i do like them to be all the same size so i just weigh all of the little balls and i like them to be 100 grams i feel like that's the perfect tortilla i'm just gonna be rolling it out and you guys i'm not the best at rolling them out so i just want to let you guys know that i know mine come out like squares but they're just as good <laughs> so if you guys try making the tortillas don't be so hard on yourself when you guys are rolling them out because that's probably the hardest part and my daughter is always the one that helps me turn the tortillas the process just goes so much faster because i make tortillas once a week i will make a big batch of them um, once we run out of tortillas the next day i usually make like i think it's three dozen tortillas because we eat a lot of tortillas i put them in the fridge and they're good to go for the full week the food's all ready now i'm just gonna try it just gonna try it really quick to see if it needs a little bit of salt um, i did season the meat at the beginning and you guys, I did add four more ounces of water. And the only thing that you're waiting for is for the potato or the carrot to cook. So once that's cooked, um, it's pretty much done, you guys. So my potato's done. I didn't add any carrots because my kids don't really like the carrots in here. So I just added potato. So once your potato's soft, you can turn it off but if you need to add more water because it's getting dry you can definitely add more water while it's cooking we like ours a little bit watery not too dry but just depending on how you like it you can um, add more water or um, let it dry out as well whatever you prefer but we like it watery oh my gosh it's so good mm. it's so good i think it's perfect I want to show you guys the consistency of you can see it's a little thick but it's kind of watery and that's just how i prefer it Maybe we eat the picadillo with rice or beans or both but since i had leftover rice i just heated it up so i'm going to be serving my picadillo with rice oh, the rice is so good too you guys oh my gosh this whole meal <laughs> this is actually my son's favorite he loves picadillo so anytime i make it for him he really enjoys it and i like it too i love the flavor of it okay guys here's my plate okay guys and here's my tortilla oh my gosh this looks delicious so now that we're all done with dinner, I'm going to start to decorate my two curio cabinets. They were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air. He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together ooh And one day she said Write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful Maybe I'll call you my sweetheart and 
promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song And they sing it kind of beautiful each other's sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way eh, Or steal the show oh, They're in love now And I wanted you to know Hey I wish you could see yourself Hope you guys like how I decorated my curio cabinets. I think they came out really beautiful. I'm going to end the video here. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye besties.